Okay, let's add another one. My dearest friend, I hope this letter finds you well. Your previous letter has arrived and found me in the most joyous of moods, and reading your correspondence has elevated said merry delight even further. I know you are gasping to learn of my latest exploits and happenings to fill my daily life. Oh, it pains me so that because of this continuous and unfortunate circumstances, we cannot assemble together, and my hands are bound as you are left alone in isolation. Worry not, for in this letter I shall divulge unto you all manner of topics of how I've been occupying my time during this dreadful period. So of course, I find joy readily. I find myself occupied most parts of the day by the wonders of the World Wide Web on my phone. I assure you, I'm not glued to this device constantly. No, rather it is merely in passing that I observe it. Although it does bring a modicum of entertainment, I am not attached to it so desperately, and not spending most of my time there. I do have many other interests outside it, of course. Ah yes, a key activity of mine these days, writing. I'm not just referring to the letters you and I send to one another, but also a writing project. A story, an adventure, a literature exploration. Why, there are so many grand tales to tell. The only problem I find myself in is conveying these thoughts onto the page itself. I will not settle for anything less. Oh, and before I forget, there was a fascinating article I read just the other day. It proposed a thought towards its readers of whether or not people can grow lonely and depressed during times of isolation. I know it is troubling to think about, but it is true that many people do struggle with daily tasks and self-care. It is not my desire to worry you. So I shall state here and now in this letter that I am not depressed. No, far from it. As I exclaimed in this letter and the many prior, I am living my life with a focus on joy and many other blissful experiences far from the trials and tribulations of isolation. So I must emphasize once again, I am doing just fine. And so with these final remarks, I thank you for your continued letters and eagerly look forward to your next one. I hope you are well, and know that I offer my extended hand readily if you require any assistance. Take care. Sincerely yours, from me.